What's up guys, Aaron here, back with another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be doing a spec comparison between the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, the Moto X, the Galaxy Note 4, the LG G3, the Galaxy S5, the HTC One M8, and the Google Nexus 5. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now the purpose of this video is to give you guys the exact specifications of the devices listed. And hopefully by the end of this video, you'll have a better idea of which one of these devices is a better smartphone for you. So without further delay, let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and skip the first line as the first line is only displaying the manufacturer, which is pretty much self-explanatory. So moving on to line two is the price. And just a quick heads up, all of the prices listed here other than the Google Nexus 5 are all with a two-year contract. So starting off on the left, the Apple iPhone 6 is starting out at $199 for a 16 gigabyte model and $299 for the 64 gigabyte model as Apple has chosen to remove the 32 gigabyte option from the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, $399 for the 128 gigabyte option. Next is the iPhone 6 Plus starting out at $299 for a 16 gigabyte model, $399 for a 64 gigabyte model and $499 for a 128 gigabyte model. Now, once again, you can only get these prices if you get a two year contract. Next up is the Moto X, a very excellent phone coming in at $99 for a 16 gigabyte model. A 32 gigabyte model is available as well through Moto Maker. Next is the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and we're yet to receive pricing on that. However, I will keep you guys updated. Next up is the LG G3 coming in at $199 for a 32 gigabyte model. Next up is the Samsung Galaxy S5 coming in at $199 for a 16 gigabyte edition. Next is the HTC One M8 at $199 for a 32 gigabyte model. And as I mentioned earlier, the Google Nexus 5 is not with a two year contract. So it is $349 for a 16 gigabyte model, no contract, and $399 for a 32 gigabyte model off contract. Now moving on to the operating systems, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus both are gonna be running iOS 8 while all the rest of the competitors are gonna be running Android 4.4 KitKat. Next up is the custom skin overlay. And as you can see, the iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus obviously does not have a skin, it's coming directly from Apple. The Moto X has a stock Moto software add-on that is very similar to stock Android. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has TouchWiz. The LG G3 has the LG Flat UI. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has TouchWiz as well. The HTC One M8 has Sense 6.0. And lastly, the Google Nexus 5 provides a stock vanilla Android experience. Next up is the displays. The display on the iPhone 6 is a 4.7 inch LED IPS display with a resolution of 1334 by 750 for 326 pixels per square inch. The iPhone 6 has a 5.5 inch LED IPS display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 for a total of 401 pixels per square inch. The Moto X has a 5.2 inch FHD AMOLED display with a 1920 by 1080 resolution with 423 pixels per square inch. The Galaxy Note 4 has a 5.7 inch QHD Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 2560 by 1440 with a total pixel per square inch count of 515. The LG G3 has a 5.5 inch QHD IPS 2560 by 1440 display with a 538 pixel per square inch count. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has a 5.1 inch FHD Super AMOLED display with a 1920 by 1080p resolution with 432 pixels per square inch. The HTC One M8 has a Super LCD 3 display with a 1920 by 1080 resolution with 441 pixels per square inch. The Google Nexus 5 has a 4.95 inch Full HD IPS LCD display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 with a total of 445 pixels per square inch. Now next up is the processors. Now both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus have a 1.4 gigahertz dual core processor with the Apple A8 chip. Both have 64-bit architecture with the M8 motion coprocessors. The Moto X, the LG G3, along with the Galaxy S5 all have a 2.5 gigahertz Snapdragon 801 quad core processor. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 2.7 gigahertz Snapdragon 805 quad core processor. The HTC One M8 has a 2.3 gigahertz Snapdragon 801 quad core processor. And the Google Nexus 5 has a 2.3 gigahertz Snapdragon 800 quad core processor. Next up is the available RAM in each device. Now the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus both come with one gigabyte of RAM. Now the Moto X as well as the Galaxy S5, the HTC One M8 and the Google Nexus 5 all come with two gigabytes of RAM. 
Now the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 comes with 3GB of RAM. Now the LG G3 typically comes with 2GB of RAM. However, there is a 3GB model variant. Next up is storage. And both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus comes in three different options. A 16GB option, a 64GB option, and a 128GB option. Now the Moto X comes in 16 or 32GB. The Galaxy Note 4 comes in 32GB with the option to add a micro SD card. Now the LG G3 comes in 16 and 32 gigabytes with the option once again to add a micro SD card. The Samsung Galaxy S5 comes in 16 and 32 gigabytes with the micro SD card option. The HTC One M8 comes in 32 gigabytes with the micro SD card option. And the Google Nexus 5 comes in 16 and 32 gigabyte options. Next up is the cameras. The iPhone 6 has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. The iPhone 6 Plus has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with OIS and also has a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. The Moto X is coming with a 13 megapixel rear facing camera with a 2 megapixel front facing camera. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with smart OIS and also has a 3.7 megapixel front facing camera. The LG G3 has a 13 megapixel camera with OIS with laser autofocus and has a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has a 16 megapixel rear facing camera with a 2 megapixel front facing camera. The HTC One M8 has a 4.1 ultra pixel plus duo camera and has a 5 megapixel front facing camera that has a wide angle lens. And the Google Nexus 5 has an 8 megapixel rear facing camera with OIS and a 1.3 megapixel front facing camera. Next up is a pretty important category and that is battery life. The iPhone 6 has a 1810 milliamp hour battery. The iPhone 6 Plus has a 2915 milliamp hour battery. The Moto X has a 2300 milliamp hour battery. The Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has a 3220 milliamp hour removable battery. The LG G3 has a 3000 milliamp removable battery. The Samsung Galaxy S5 has a 2800 milliamp hour removable battery. The HTC One M8 has a 2600 milliamp hour battery, and the Google Nexus 5 has a 2300 milliamp hour battery. And next up is the carriers that the devices are available through. And all the devices here, with the exception of the Moto X and the Google Nexus 5, are available through Verizon, AT&T, Sprint, and T-Mobile. While the Moto X is available through Verizon and AT&T and unlocked through T-Mobile. While the Google Nexus 5 is available through AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint. Let's go ahead and skip down to wireless charging. And as you can see, the iPhone 6, the iPhone 6 Plus, the Moto X, as well as the HTC One M8 do not provide wireless charging. However, the LG G3 and the Google Nexus 5 do provide wireless charging, as well as the Samsung Galaxy S5 that's available via an optional accessory. Now next up is an interesting section, and that is Other, which means that this is going to be the part of the section and infographic that shows the particular strong points of the device. So the iPhone 6 has a Touch ID fingerprint sensor. The iPhone 6 Plus as well has a Touch ID fingerprint sensor. The Moto X has a USB 2.0 front IR sensors with four microphones. Some of the unique features of the Galaxy Note 4 is it has USB 3.0, a fingerprint sensor, a heart rate monitor, IR blaster, as well as the S Pen. The LG G3 has USB 2.0 as well as a slim port. The Galaxy S5 has USB 3.0, a fingerprint sensor, heart rate monitor, IR blaster, IP67 dust and water resistant. The HTC One M8 has an IR blaster and USB 2.0, and the Google Nexus 5 has a micro USB port, a slim port, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Next up is the colors. Now the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus are gonna be available in silver, gold, and space gray. And the Moto X is available in 25 different color and back options through the Moto Maker, including leather and wood. The Galaxy Note 4 is available in black, white, gold, and pink. The LG G3 comes in black, white, gold, red, and violet. The Galaxy S5 comes in black, gold, blue, and white. The HTC One M8 comes in silver, gold, and gray. And the Google Nexus 5 comes in black, white, and red. Next up is the dimensions, and this is going to tell us how thin the devices are. The iPhone 6 is 6.9 millimeters thin. The iPhone 6 Plus is 7.1 millimeters thin. The Moto X is 9.9 millimeters thin. The Galaxy Note 4 is 8.5 millimeters. The LG G3 is 8.9 millimeters. The Galaxy S5 is 8.1 millimeters thin. The HTC One M8 is 9.35 millimeters thin. And the Google Nexus 5 is 8.59 millimeters thin. And lastly is the total weight of each device. Now the Apple iPhone 6 weighs 129 grams. The iPhone 6 Plus is 172 grams. The Moto X is 144 grams. 
The Galaxy Note 4 comes in at 175 grams. The LG G3 weighs in at 149 grams. The Galaxy S5 at 145 grams. The HTC One M8 bends the scales at 160, and the Google Nexus 5 comes in at 130 grams. Anyways guys, it's gonna do it for me on this one. I hope this spec comparison has helped you make a better decision when it comes to buying your next smartphone. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, now's a great time to do so. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. As I mentioned earlier, my name is Aaron, and I'll see you guys on the next one.